Hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be part three, I believe it is, in my uh, uh, Russia semi-deity play Europe again uh, uh, series. Uh, so I can't remember where I left off. Right, I was uh, right. I was working on uh, getting a major. Um, push out for uh, settling and building up uh, military. Uh, so I need to be upgrading my uh, swordsmen and I'll soon be upgrading my uh, archers. So because I need to um, be able to defend from the inevitable invasion from Mongolia. So yeah, here we go. Uh, let's move along here. Oh look, someone built Alhambra. Yeah, generally there's not much point uh, aiming for any of the wonders when you're playing at deity level. Uh, even when you have the uh, deity uh, nerfed a bit, um, like I do here, where the, um, the uh, standard um, extra uh, units that um, that the AI gets and the uh, uh, tech boosts and civic boosts that it gets were blocked at, at the start of this game. Uh, the deity AI still gets some substantial combat buffs and other things. Uh, and uh, given the uh, type of map and so on, it seemed like it was a good idea to uh, have uh, fewer uh, starting settlers, uh, and, and, you know, basically keep the AI back a bit. Oh, look, it's Pericles. And Hungary. Matthias. Hmm. And Suleiman. So, why did I end up meeting them? Or is it that they just happened to uh, share, end up seeing the map for Poland or something like that? Yeah, that's probably it. Still, I won't complain too much about that. That's more uh, civs met. Uh, right. Okay, now. Uh, I've got machinery... I'm thinking that I should uh, either research um, military engineering uh, so I can reveal NITER or apprenticeships so I can get industrial zones. And I'm actually thinking uh, military tactics gets me the pikeman and Huey Teokali, but... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with an apprenticeship here uh, so that I can start building industrial zones. Um, okay, I've got a, a settler here. Um, right, okay, I can build dams now. So, uh, so I can build a dam. Where can I build the dam? that might be a good call. I can build a dam here uh, and then that would allow me to put an aqueduct here and the industrial zone here uh, to get that uh, get the uh, adjacency. So what does it give us? Uh, adjacency from quarries, uh, districts, government plaza, mines, water mills, uh, plus two from uh, aqueduct, uh, plus two from a dam. So that's a plus four, and then a plus one for you know for uh, any strategic resource that might be there. Um, so yeah. Actually, that's. Um, 
that would be uh, that's exactly where I want to put the uh, put the dam. Uh, and since I hadn't repaired that, so uh, the aqueduct I can't build an aqueduct here, uh, but I can build one here. No, I can't. No, I'd have to build it here. Because the horses are in the way. Either way, the dam has to go there. If I would have settled on the wheat for the horses, it would have uh, changed the equation a bit. Um, yeah, right. Because I, I keep forgetting there's not fresh water on this tile, right? Um, the dam definitely has to go here. Well, let's see where the niter pops up. Um, because the, uh, it might make sense to put the aqueduct here and the industrial zone here. Uh, because that's too, um, yeah, actually, that would be smart. Because that's two uh, strategic resources and an aqueduct. Yeah, 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 that, that, that's exactly what I'll do. Uh, so let's... Um, We'll add attack here, and uh, where is it? Aqueduct. And we'll add a tack here, and that will be industrial zone. Right. Otherwise, I'll forget what I was going to do. Uh, I could put the industrial zone here, but... Whoops. But these are both a plus one because they're strategic resources. I'm kind of hoping there's niter up here. Um, I'm not sure, but it'd be really nice. Okay. Um, yeah, I need to get uh, gold production up, so I'll build a market. Okay. Our uh, explorer got attacked. Okay, so we'll send him out again. Uh, okay. Now, where am I going to drop a city? I think I'm going to drop a city up here. Um, I'm not so worried about having gaps in my territory. Uh, I just want to cover off a lot of territory. Uh so that the AI is not likely to settle there, and so it keeps the barbarian camps from appearing, because barbarian camps are bloody annoying. Uh, right. Um, yeah. Maybe I'm not going to send that guy out. Okay, so I'm going to have crossbow there in 38 turns. Well, that should go down when that ticks over. I really should build a gov my government plaza, actually. Um, he's offering... Actually, that's a good deal. That's amenities, you see. So, so that's definitely a good deal. Uh, right. Uh, okay, I'm going to move that guy out, send, send him back, I think. Let's see where the uh, Barbarian Scout goes. I may end up running blocking with the uh, Great Writer there. Okay, so we've definitely got uh, something that we need to deal with. Um, right, so we'll attack here. Um, let's send this guy up here so we can see what's doing. Uh, do we have enough to upgrade a warrior? We do. It's 110 gold. Um... Uh, but we need more um, more iron to do that. Uh, so I guess I'll be uh, keeping the uh, the iron for a bit, uh, or uh, get more iron under production. So building a city up here 
uh, would allow me to do that and get this iron under production. Uh, right, okay, I think I pretty much need to... Ah, okay, so now we're out of our Dark Age. Um, now... Oh, Genghis is in a Dark Age. So, that's kind of fun. Okay, continue. Now, what to go for here. Uh, reform the coinage would be good if I had a lot of trade routes up, but I don't. Uh, Hick sunt, sunt Dracones, not, maybe not so good. Um, Exodus of the Evangelist could be good. Um, but I think Monumentality is what I'll go for. Is I'll uh, probably be building districts, so... Uh, right. Well, you can come online. Oh, look! We, f we uh, put a settlement on America over in Russia. Right. Now, what do... You know what? I'm thinking a Lavra would be good. Because Lavras are cool. Um... You know what? I'll drop it here, even though that's going to crush a woods. You can go back and uh, take a promotion. You, I'm going to just go park back in the capital. Okay, someone actually built Huey, so I won't be doing that. It's a good wonder, a uh, really good wonder, but uh it's if you can get it and you have a lot of lake tiles it's it's really really strong but if you don't uh if you try for it and you don't get it wait a minute my uh map tack for the aqueduct uh went away obviously because i clicked the wrong thing at some point you know as one does uh right so, oh, I should get uh, the silver online as well. That would be good. And even these horses. Uh, yeah, I need to be getting some builders out as well so I can uh, build up my empire. That, that would be uh, uh, quite smart, I think. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll build a dam and then I'll build another uh, settler there. Uh, I also want to keep an eye on this so that I can, uh, how's this doing? Oh, it's doing okay. Uh, is I want to get the, uh, the third apostle out so that I can, uh, start the Inquisition. Because Inquisitors are nice when you're trying to defend your religion. Now, I do have all victory conditions except domination turned off. Uh, but even so, uh, if you've got decent uh, religious beliefs, uh, defending your religion is a really good idea. Uh, so when uh, somebody like, say, Suleiman here comes in with, um, with his apostles and missionaries to convert all my seas, I, uh, I, I'm unable to convert them back. Uh, you know, that, that's uh, intensely uh, useful. Um, I am not going to make, going to use the great writer in, in the palace. I really need to build some theater squares as well. Um, so, yeah. Uh, now the, uh, wait, how does the, the, Jason, does the adjacency bonus double up with a mine and iron? Oh, that would be interesting. Uh, right. Uh, so, uh, that's a commercial hub. I'm going to build the market. Uh, now, over here, I'm thinking it would be a really, really, really good idea to build an encampment. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking somewhere around, say, here. And this is going to be entertaining! Uh, 
right. So we're getting swarmed by barbarians again, because that's what we do. Uh, we get swarmed by barbarians. Yeah, barbarian swarms, aren't they grand? Oh, we got a flood where we don't have a city. So, Genghis got hit. Okay, that's apprenticeship, so that's good. Now what? Uh, I'm thinking stirrups. Uh, right. Then we'll be able to upgrade our uh, chariots. Uh, so we've completed a market here. Uh, I think a dam would be a really good idea. So obviously, so I can't build a dam up here. Huh. So that must be for, yeah. So why can't I build the dam up here? Because it'd be really cool if I could. You know, I'm going to go for something else here. I think I'm just going to, I'm going to build a trader and uh, can, I, can, I can take this guy out. So that's good. That's one less ranged unit, but I'll probably get attacked by that guy. Maybe not if I send that guy out there. Oh, Genghis is getting swarmed as well. Okay, so I'm going to send this um, archer up here. Ah, okay, so this guy lived. That's good. Send this guy up here. This guy up here. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay, you know, I'll, I'll send a horse up there as well. Uh, why do I not have this guy in the district? That would be a really smart thing to do. Uh, four turns on the dam here. So then we won't have to worry about flooding in Moscow here. Right. Uh, so we'll keep on going here. Um, so we'll have to deal with this. Uh, odds are we won't have too much of an issue. Uh, a couple more turns, a few more turns, and we can upgrade uh, another warrior. Um, yeah, I'll take that, because uh, we're, um, we're getting six uh, horses per turn, so, uh, you, you know, we might as well. Uh, sure, I could send a city up here and grab the truffles up there, but uh, until I actually have a city there, that's not going to do much good. Um... Right, so we'll send this guy up here. Major defeat, major victory. Yeah, send him over here. Um, right, send the horses up here. Um, right. Uh, yeah, because we've met city-states. Huh. 
Huh. And we have a major flood in Moscow. This is why I'm building the dam. Um, right. Yeah, we lost our, um... Our, um... What you call it? The, um... Uh, archer. Uh, I kinda suspected... Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to retreat with the horseman there, and this guy. So you can go back here and heal. Hmm. Yeah, not so much. Okay, well you two swap, and we'll see what happens. If you go over here... That might have been dumb, because now we lose the flanking bonus. But with this guy up here, maybe... Yeah, we'll see what happens. You yeah, see how much more damage uh, Mongolia's chariot did than mine? Uh, that's the double uh, combat strength that the uh, AI gets. And, uh, at these higher levels. So yeah, I got uh, clobbered there. Uh, well, that'll save me a couple of... Um, <laughs> of uh, of gold, but still. Okay, so we got a trader here. We'll make another trader. And I'm going to... Uh, relocate this here. Like so. And I guess I'll send another, tr send a trader to Mongolia, pick up some gold that way. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. And we've got enough uh, iron to upgrade a uh, warrior, so we'll do that. And we've got stirrups, so we've got a lot of upgrading to do now, and uh, not enough gold to do it with. I guess we'll go for military tactics. Uh, is it better to send it to Borisov or Petrovsk? That's more gold. Yeah, we'll send it there. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's. I think that was the smart choice. Is I needed the gold. Uh, realistically, I probably should have gone the other way for the science point, but yeah. Okay, a couple more turns for that last uh, apostle that we need to uh, finish off our our religion stuff. Uh, let's see what's doing over here. How are the these guys coping? See, they can't attack in my uh, territory. I don't think I have open borders with them. Um, 
but they could be drawing, uh, drawing fire from my cities. Um, yeah, so that should allow, uh, allow, uh, uh, the other guys to take them out. So that's Medieval Fairs. That's a government title. Now here, if I grab this one, my culture should go up. Um, and that should help. Uh, just by virtue of keeping a high population in Moskva, uh, that should help immensely. Uh, yeah, not so much. Huh. So, a few turns for the Lavra up here. Okay, now I can go settle beside Poland again without uh, causing trouble. Uh, but first, we'll go over here, grab an apostle. Um, right. And what am I looking for here? Right. I should upgrade uh, some of these things. Uh, well, I'll start here. Uh, okay, so I'm up to 337 compared to like 900 for the AIs. So, I really need to get my uh, military stuff built up. So, uh, and that's why I need the gold, right? So, uh, I'll get a trader online here. Um... And then, uh, I guess, uh, I'll start uh, working on something else there. Uh, well, okay, the knight needs iron. Heavy chariot doesn't. Uh, well, I could go for a skirmisher, but I think I'm going to build some crossbows. Uh, right. I can get eight gold per turn by sending here. You know what? I'm going to do that. Uh, okay, now we will launch our Inquisition. Uh, and that will allow us to build Inquisitors, which means that we can more easily eliminate um, competing religions. Uh, right, so we'll send this guy over here. You're healed, so you can come out here. Um, yeah. I didn't think that was going to take it, but one of these guys might. I just need to get those barbarians out of there. And then if my units survive, I'll, I'll send them up into the fog and see if I can identify where they came from. Um, so we really don't want that camp hanging out there uh, longer than we have to. Um, oh, interesting. Uh, right. Well, I should do that back up here and take the promotion we built a district yay we got an error score um yeah uh, I should probably build a crossbow there um okay I'm gonna have settler out right away here So, yeah, there's that. Uh, what am I going to... Uh... I need to keep the population of Moscow from dropping too much further, so 
I guess I'm going to build some of the other stuff there and uh, see if I can uh, improve things. Uh, right, okay, so uh, what can we build here? Well, we can build an industrial zone, which I think I will do. I was going to put here. Yes, I was going to put it there. And uh, send this guy where? Well, that is a slight conundrum. I think I'll put it up here. Not where it's suggesting, though. Alright, so you, you can come over here. You can attack here. Okay, good. And... Oh, right, I can delete that now. Uh, so it's ten turns for the industrial zone. And that should get me up to... 8 pop in 2 turns, so that'll be good. It might be worth actually building the aqueduct as well. Uh, so there's military tactics. Uh, what to research now? Um, castles, I think. Okay, this guy can go up here, then up here, and then take the promotion. Uh... Yeah, we'll take that path, because a two times flanking bonus would be brilliant. Uh, you can go back in here. Okay, I can build a missionary. Or an inquisitor. That would be good, actually. Uh, inquisitor. We'll send it down here, and uh, uh, kick voodoo out of there. And then I can uh, send them up here to convert. Well, that should convert on its own. Uh, yeah, it just needs half a citizen to, to convert. Right, so moving along. So I'm up to 32 gold per turn. I really need to get that bigger. I need eight more error score to keep a uh, normal age. Uh, I think I can get that if I just if I build the districts. Uh, right. Right. My inquisitor can go down here. You can attack there. Yeah, that's pretty much got it. You heal. So I'll have a uh, market here real soon, so that'll be another um, trader that I can get up. Uh, exploration in a few, you know, in a dozen turns or so will mean we can switch up a government, which will help a lot. Uh, we're not going to get the, uh, uh, the Eureka for uh, castles. Uh, right. Now, what are we going to We're going to build a lavra here. Yes, I'm going hard on the lavras, but uh, that's uh, 
kind of calculated, really. Uh, I guess I'll drop it over here. Uh, okay, so this guy can, can venture out. You can garrison. Okay, we've got a... We'll hit pop nine in Moscow after the industrial zone. Uh, so what I'm going to do, uh, I think I'll build another settler and then I'll build the aqueduct. I wonder if I have enough gold to upgrade the uh, chariot there. Okay, we've got a flood here. See, it flooded here. Why can't we build a dam there? Okay, so we've dealt with that guy. Uh, I don't have enough gold to, to upgrade that guy, so I'm going to park him over here. Okay, moving on. Oh, or not. What have we got here? An Inquisitor. We'll flip our city back. Right. It's also a good idea to have a, an Inquisitor or something kicking about with your uh, religion, uh, just in case you get unlucky and all of your cities get converted to something else. You can actually lose your religion. Uh, and then, well, there is a way to get it back later uh, with a rock band uh, with the right promotion. You can actually uh, uh, get your religion back uh, but, uh, yeah, that's a little bit, uh, problematic. Um, World Congress. Plus 10 strength combat and religious for all the units of this religion. Um, we'll choose ours. Okay. New districts by this player act as a culture bomb. No. We'll go, we'll target uh, Genghis here. Um, right. Now let's see what happens. Okay, submit. I'm not going to win the second proposal there, but I won the first one. Okay. Now that would be a victory point if I uh, actually had that enabled. You heal. You heal. You turn into a city. Um, and we'll build a labra. But where? They're all plus two. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll put it up there. Uh, right, so the Inquisitor there. Uh, this is a 27 turn conversion. This will convert on its own. So I'll just park the Inquisitor. Uh, I can clear that, and we can make another upgrade. Uh, I just need to get my units upgraded. That's uh, that's important here, uh, and I need to uh, get a lot more gold production online, which means I should probably build the Minervium in Moscow. Uh, that would be smart. Uh, what's this have to say? Um, 
Wait, there's horses there? Oh, there's horses under there. And I can build a uh, trade route uh, here in Kazuma. We have a market. What I should do is, you know, I'm going to build an, another crossbow there. Because I need to uh, have solid defense going. And I detect thunder uh, sounding here. Uh, as I'm recording this. So that's uh, quite uh, amusing. I may actually need to uh, take action based on that. Uh, anyway, uh, moving along here. Actually, that thunder might be why I end the part here, uh, now that I think about it. I uh, might actually have to take some physical action based on that. Not because uh, I expect, uh, you know, power surges or anything like that. Uh, the power lines around here are underground, uh, so there usually isn't all that much uh, issue from lightning and so on. Horses for four gold per turn and open borders. Yeah, let's keep uh, Trajan happy, and uh, that gets us a few extra gold. Uh, 120 gold over 30 turns. Um, I, can, I have enough faith for an Inquisitor. Someone built the Potalo Palace. And, oh look, it started raining here. Uh, but anyways, as I was saying, uh, the power lines are underground here, uh, mostly, uh, so there's not generally a lot of risk uh, during a thunderstorm. Uh, most of the time, power stays completely stable. That's five gold per turn. I will take that as well, uh, since we are uh, accumulating a stack of horses, and if I would ever actually repair that last horse tile. I would get more horses. Uh, right. Um, uh, where were we going here? I still want to know, maybe you can't build a dam at the end of a river. That might make sense. If that had occurred to me, I would have put this over here, and then I could have put, the, put a dam here, aqueduct, and... Yeah, oh well. Um, right. I can purchase a guru. Really? How is it that I can purchase a guru? Uh, anyway. Uh, do I have enough to purchase a Okay, I need 380 for the Minervium. And then that will come with a standard issue three-dimensional exclamation mark over the holy site due to a bug in the uh, Religion Expanded mod. Um, oh, we uh, created a trading post. That got us error score. Someone built the Great Zimbabwe. Um, yeah. Uh, the Great Zimbabwe might have been good in uh, Moscow. Uh, no, uh, it needs cattle, I think. Uh, okay, reform. Okay, we've got castles. Um, uh, five turns for exploration, so there's that. New district, we now need six era score. Uh, choose research. Now what? Military engineering for sure. We got a great artist. So that's uh, another ear score. 
And what are we going to build here? Um, I believe I was going to build a settler. Uh, so that's the, the goal here. I'm going to alternate on that. Um, yeah, we'll repeat that. Uh, you can park over here. Uh, you can look around a bit and see if... Oh! Well, I should settle up that way. Uh, right. So, I'll want to uh, look around. How can I let those barbarians run them up? Because I don't know where they are, that's how. Yeah, I probably want to drop a, a city in here somewhere. And then, like, a couple in here. Oh look, complaining about my population. And the barbarians again. I mean, really. If you don't like the barbarians, go and, uh, go and clear them out yourself. Uh, right, uh, we'll pick up a trader here, uh, send this guy over here, uh, I don't have enough to upgrade another archer, so let's go up here, we'll see what's around up here. Uh, the, the barbarians are probably over here. Um, right. Uh, what, what I should do is bring this guy out here for fog busting. Uh, there's a special uh, session coming for the World Congress. A uh, few more turns for exploration. Uh, which will give us Merchant Republic, um, which should increase our uh, gold a bit, but it will also, uh, our pastures will be better as well, so Moskva will end up growing. Uh, we're apparently not part of that emergency either. So, yeah. Uh, and it failed. Okay. Uh, right, is there anything to see out here? No. There's got to be a barbarian camp up here somewhere. Uh, right. So Moscow's going to get up to pop 10 before that settler pops out. And then, uh... Yeah, that'll be good, if uh, if it can keep getting up in population. But I think I'll keep alternating. Or maybe maybe if it gets to pop 10, I'll just pop another settler out. Because uh, I definitely need to get a whole bunch of cities out, uh, so I can get my industrial capacity ramped up. Uh, right. Next. Well... Actually, I'm thinking I should I should grab a builder. Uh, I'll do that after I check the policy cards. Uh, but I can build the Minervium in Moscow uh, this turn, and I think I will do that. Uh, unit needs orders. Well, you can pop up there. Nothing impressive to see. Uh, so I'm going to go over here and buy the Minervium. Um, right. So that... Uh, next. Uh, now, what's the gold? 30 from work tiles, 1 from outgoing trade. Oh, that's food. 
gold. One from Minervium, two from Market, five from Palace. Right. So the Minervium is working, even though it's got that standard issue 3D exclamation mark thingy going. What is that? Red or? That's red, isn't it? Yeah, it looks red to me. Uh, okay, there's one more era score. There's exploration. Uh, choose civic. Um, now, what are we aiming for? Uh, diplomatic service, I think. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll go with Merchant Republic. So that's two more era score. Um, yeah, we're doing 50% production settlers, but we want this one as well. We'll pop that one up there. Uh... Culture and science from international trade routes might be a really good one to slot in. Um, and caravanseries might be good. But 50% gold discount on upgrades is uh, really solid at the moment. Uh, caravanseries, maybe not. Trade confederation, I'm thinking, might be really good. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that because I have international trade routes, so that will help. Uh, you go up there. There's something, a slinger, really. Uh, so we need two more era score uh, for, uh, um, for the uh, next one here. Uh, we're going to grab a builder here. And uh, I'm going to bring the uh, uh, diamonds online. Uh, and then I'll go up here, bring the silver online. And then I think I'll bounce over here and bring the iron and the truffles online. Uh, I'll probably repair the horses over here as well. Uh, right, okay, so you can go over here and fog bust, you can go up here and fog bust, you can go in here, um, right, so we're up to 39 gold per turn, with 48 science and 38 culture so so that's uh there's that uh right so dingbat here is building uh heavy chariots um i guess i want to get up to nationalism so i can build cores that would be smart uh, so that's one more air score needed. Um, so what to build up here? Uh, an encampment, I think. Which I will drop right here. Uh, that's 29 turns, so that's rather a lot. You can park. You can go over here. You can attack there. Uh, right, so that Slinger will probably run away, but if he doesn't, he's dead next turn. Well, I don't know what's in the fog back there, so it's... Uh, it's gonna be... You know, someone built Petra. Petra is not all that wonderful, really, in... Uh, uh, in Civ 6, it was really strong situationally in Civ 5. Uh, I guess it's really situ even more situational here. Um, but, uh, you know, like if you, if you have a huge desert city, 
uh, like say in uh, in the middle of uh, Australia on a uh, an Earth map, uh, Patrick can be huge. Uh, you can get a massive city going as a result, but yeah, okay, so what to build here? I definitely need to get a government plaza online, so uh, I'm just going to drop it here. You can go up here for fog busting. Um, where to send you? Uh, we get plus one science going to Petrovsk. So well, we get plus three science going to one of these. Yeah, we'll go here. Uh, you die. Uh, okay. Uh, good. Uh, so, continuing. Okay. So, uh, one more turn. Next turn, I should be able to uh, do the diamonds. Oh, that uh, barbarian has uh, suicided. That's military engineering. Okay, so first we'll go in here, and I'm going to grab education. Now, let's see. We've got niter there, niter there, niter here. So that has just increased the... Uh, um, adjacency on the uh, the uh, industrial zone uh, so that's that's really good um, uh, yeah I'll go for another settler because we'll get up to pop 10 before the settler comes out so uh, there's that okay you go up here uh, where to send this guy? You know what? That looks like a good spot. Uh, you heal. So we've got a stack of niter that we uh, definitely want to get online. So I think I'll be picking up another builder. But you come online. And then... I have the silver there, right. So you go up there. Um, what do I need? Uh, 290 or something for a builder? Okay, there's civil service. Now what to build here? I think... A barracks. And now we've got a uh, normal age coming, so, so that's good. Uh, how many turns here? 10 plus. And we'd need 14 more to get a Golden Age. I'm not overly fussed if we don't get a Golden Age, but not getting a Dark Age is nice. Um, now, is he going to convert here again? Oh, I need to go over here and reconvert here. Uh, 
Right, so I should grab a Inquisitor. Ah, you go up here. Right, you grab an Inquisitor, and you will need 295 for a uh, yeah, one short. Uh, right. Next. I've apparently left the richest parts of the land for others. Uh, what I'm going for right now is to get as many cities out as I can uh, in a relatively short time so that I can get them uh, building up. And then uh, I'll start uh, building uh, uh, infrastructure uh, at an alarming pace. And then I should be able to catch up. Uh, right, so you go down here. Uh, you can actually park. Okay, no conversion there. Uh, and I'm having an amenities uh, crunch. Uh, where? Yeah. Ivanova. Ivanovo. Right. Well, uh, getting the uh, silver online should help with that. Uh, although it looks like I'm going to need to build some, uh, uh, some uh, entertainment complexes as well. Uh, right. So up here, I'm going to, no, I'm going to buy a builder. Um, right, that is the downside of spamming cities. Uh, you end up with uh, an absolutely massive uh, demand on uh, amenities, and that can cause you major trouble if you end up in a war. Uh, but uh, what... Uh, what I can do is get uh, entertainment complexes online, and that will uh, make a huge difference in the amenities uh, situation. Uh, Classical Re Republic also helped with amenities early on. Uh, right, so I'll uh, build that. And uh, uh, Ancient Walls, I think, is a good idea here. Uh, simply because that is a uh, frontier city. Um, okay, you uh, convert. Uh, right. Okay. What do I need? First off, I'm going to uh, re-improve that. And, yeah. Okay, so uh, that's going to be it for, uh, for this part. It's come up over an hour, so I'm going to leave it here. Uh, next time around, I guess, is more of the same uh, as I uh, try to build up my uh, empire. Uh, and uh, I guess it's probably going to be just as tedious, but I have a bunch of niter mines to build, and that will help in Moskva. And uh, I guess from there, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, so I guess everybody, you can come back next time and, and see how it goes.